What's good, y'all? Welcome back to another EM Gaming video. Today, I got another anime tier list for y'all, bro. Today, we're going to be diving into a Naruto anime tier list. And today, we're going to be seeing if you guys agree or disagree with me. And we're going to be diving into a little bit of Naruto today. Uh, for all the people that haven't seen Boruto, just keep this in mind, bro. Do not come at me in the comment section to be like, Boruto is so underrated with you. I see that. But look, bro, I got some things I got to get off my chest, bro. So we're going to get into this right now. So as you can already see, I got to make something clear really fast. I have a ninja tier, an S tier, an A tier, a B, a C tier, a D tier, and a horrible. Now, let me clarify. Ninja tier is the best possible tier to be in. It means you're worthy of being a ninja. It means your storyline was incredible. Horrible obviously means horrible. Like we all know what horrible means. So let's get out of that and let's move on. Now, to clarify, because I bet you're probably wondering, there are a lot of people in S tier, there are a lot of people in D tier, but look, let me explain, let me explain, let me explain, let me explain. There are also a lot of people in B tier. So let me, so let's, so let's, so let's just get started though. Let's just get started. We don't even need no formalities. Let's get started. I'm going to start with the lowest first and go up from there to top. So I said the horrible is Barto Tintin, 10, bro, and Sheen, 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 whatever that guy's name is, bro. Now keep this in mind. <laughs> okay, let me be let me be completely honest with you. I know Barto should probably arguably be in D tier. Because actually to be real with you, Barto doesn't really annoy me. He's a lot like Sakura in that sense to where he didn't annoy me until I really went on social media and I really just peeped everybody's annoyance at him and I was just like, Okay, now that I'm here and I'm seeing and hearing this, I kinda of like just to clarify, this does not mean I am a rider. Like, I just ride with what everybody else feels or anything. But this is kind of how I was about Sakura. Like, I kind of just, when I watch anime, I'm just there. I'm in the field. I'm enjoying it. I'm not really just hating on it 300% of the time. Now, my friend Darion, also another person that works on this channel with me, will probably just agree and say I hate on every anime at first. But that more or less goes to manga, not necessarily anime. But in this particular situation, Baruto was actually, was actually a gigantic... Um, I did. I didn't find it interesting when I started. Do you ever take? I didn't start Naruto from the beginning, but I went back and started it over from the beginning. And when I did, I realized that Naruto didn't have a horrible start to it. It was actually a pretty good start compared to Naruto, which I don't think did have a really good first episode in my opinion. Which I feel like a lot of the animes that I love right now have a amazing first episode. Moving on past that point, I have to admit that um. Barto arguably could be in D tier, in my opinion. Now he's not going above that. Um, honestly, I gotta express a lot of things about a lot of characters in this one because it's actually really interesting how I pick these people. But Barto is definitely D tier. I feel like I put him in horrible because it's kind of how I felt when I first saw him. You know, right at the jump, Barto really just doesn't appeal to me. Um, show wise i don't hate him but i don't like him either he's kind of like he was in the middle during the show so if anything he's d tier but i put him in horrible because well i'm pretty sure a lot of people agree with me that he's horrible because he just does a bunch of crazy stuff out of nowhere and that's kind of why i don't really like Barto is because he's really just progressing faster than most other ninjas now i know that kind of seems like it's a hate but that's not hate that's just like show continuity it just doesn't make sense compared to the previous getting that we had to watch just wasn't very realistic how he was able to do certain things and do all these things so we're just gonna put him in horrible but just let him know and i could put him in d tier if i'm really being for real 1010 i don't have to get into why 1010 is indeed horrible like i hate 1010 first show she all she did was pretty much just hype up neji in the tuning exams after that second show was still horrible didn't really serve a big role don't really care that guy is the worst Yukoski member don't even gotta get into him Moving on to him, Shinso, probably the bug controlling guy. Also, it could be actually Shinso could honestly go to C, but I put him in horrible just for the simple point that we didn't get a lot with him. Moving on past that D tier, we got him and Wari. Now, I'm just gonna skip past all the Barto people and just get to them in a, after I get through with everybody else that's in D tier. So, Karin, D tier, also just seemed like a support role for Sasuke. And his team, to be completely honest with you, didn't really have a character, in my opinion. Uh, Datara there as well. Now, we did get some stuff with Datara, but it just wasn't to the point that you would be C, B, A, or S. 
in my opinion. So that's why you're just in D tier. He, he done also there because I just don't really mess with bro. I think he's very, um, like he just had the Shikamaru stuff. And after that, he was pretty much over. Didn't really care for him. Same thing with the guy right next to him. Didn't really care about him. <laughs> like they just kind of did the same thing. So I'm just going to get past them. Uh, more Baruto characters. Conan is in D tier because once again, she felt like a supporting girl. If they're in D or horrible, it's because they either had a supporting girl or we didn't get enough about them to make me actually feel like they deserve to be in C or B or A or S, in my opinion. Um, same thing with, uh, I was going to say Momoshiki, but I'm not really sure. I'm going to say Momoshiki because I think that still is Momoshiki. If I'm not wrong. D because you just served one purpose, in my opinion. You did one move, you did the one battle, you had the whole arc, start over thing. It's just kind of like the same thing with Super. If I eventually get around to making a Super tier list, I will more or less dethrone that and a lot of characters in that show because of that one show. But in any case, moving on to Naruto again, back to the Boruto characters. Um, Himawari, Sarda, and Mik. I don't want to get his name wrong because I normally do, but Mitsuki, the only reason they're there, and I want to make this clear why they're there, is because I don't really have enough about their characters yet to go like, you guys are amazing. Honestly, to be completely honest with you, Sarada was actually going to be at C because I liked her arc with her dad and the shine gun with all the other guys and all this other stuff. So I was, she was actually going to be at C, but I thought about it for a second and I was like, I really seriously don't have enough to just put you there. You're no better than any of the other Barto characters. You shouldn't be there. That's not fair. So I went ahead and put her in D, but in my opinion, I think she had a C-level character development so far. Um, So she could be there. Mizuki, I don't know enough about you to put you anywhere in there. Same thing with Himawara. You guys are literally the exact same boat. So that's why you're just there. C tier, we got Choji, Eno. We got the man... Uh, Got the man, the puppet guy. <laughs> Here we got Zabuza. I'm not tired, guys, or anything like that. I'm not bored either. I'm just um, I just haven't ate or drank anything, so my mouth is dry. So bear with me on that one. But uh, I'm not actually sure. Eno is not B tier character. That should just be kind of plain if you've ever seen the show before. She was kind of a supporting role. But I feel like I liked her personally enough to put her in C tier, which is why this is why this is why this is my tier list. So she's C there. By the way, I'm suggesting this right now. D and horrible. I I actually like Data and I actually kind of like me. Like I just said, sorry, I like sorry, but she's still in D because like I said, horrible and D, they all have a reason for why they're there. C and above, that that's a different story though. I'll say that right now. C and C and above. Choji's in C because I like the stuff with him in the first show, and I also like. I didn't really get a lot about him in the next show, but I, he did enough in the first show to put him in C. You know, I don't feel like that's the exact same, but like I said, I kind of just generally like her character. Then we got Haku, who is only here for the simple purpose that you had really good reanimation stuff and you also had really good first show stuff. So I was the same way. And Puppet Guy's name, who I know his name, but I just don't feel like figuring it out because I normally call him Puppet Guy whenever I'm talking about him. I'm just going to say he's here for the simple reason that he did a lot of stuff with Gara, had a really good fight with, dang, I can't remember his name. I was going to say Sasori, but he just ended up with his puppet. In any case, um, B. Now, B is probably going to be my funnest to talk about because I, I'm pretty sure some people are going to question my B picks a little bit, uh, just a little bit. Because now that I'm actually looking at this, I actually made a misclick because Minato was definitely supposed to be... <laughs> Actually, no, I was right. Yeah, that's how I feel about me now. So I was wrong. Um, so let me go ahead and clarify this. B tier, Tsunade, first person. Tsunade is in B tier. Arguably, some people are going to say she should either be lower or higher. I don't know where that's going to go. That's why I said you're probably going to question me. Tsunade, Tsunade is there because she's the fifth Okage. Um, I don't actually generally like her character, if I'm being completely honest with you. It's because she's the fifth Okage. She, we got to see tons of fight with her. We got to see her protect Naruto by Aruchimaru, and she's assigning. It's like it's just too much stuff going for her to put me any lower than that, in my opinion. Like I don't, I don't think her character is great, but her role was amazing. If that makes any sense, her role was amazing. Her character wasn't that great, in my opinion. So, and then even then, it wasn't that annoying. Same problem with Sakura I had with just Nade. I didn't find her annoying. And then social media didn't really imp it. It just kind of was like because some people really do like just Nade, so. It kind of just led to B tier. Kimi Maru.
If anything, I'm pretty sure a lot of people can understand why he's there. I feel like that's the perfect spot for him. I don't feel like he's CD. He's definitely not horrible. And I don't feel like he was AS or Ninja tier. I feel like he was right there in the middle. If anything, he was really good. So I feel like he earned a B tier spot for sure. Then we got Kisume, the shark, one of the seven people with the shark swords or blades, or whatever the freak they were called, I don't remember, of the mist. Incredible character, had when he fought my guy, amazing stuff. You definitely earned your B-tier spot. Kumura's B-tier, I like this stuff with Naruto, simple as that. Minato, B-tier. Because I don't feel like they flushed his character out enough. Sure, I'm sad you died, but I'm not going to put you in A or S or Ninja tier just because you're there. Actually, now I'm looking at this. I didn't even realize I had Korshina on this one. She should have been A tier, B tier 2 for the exact same reason. They didn't flush their characters out enough. I understand your Naruto's parents, but Minato had more than her. If anything, Minato should be in A. Korshina should be in B, my opinion. But I misclicked. Um, not really. Not in my opinion. Because, like I said, Minato should be here. But that's just how I feel. He was just hyped up as the fourth Okage. He did do a lot of stuff. It was cool to see him fight Abito. Don't get me wrong. It's just... That's about it. Like, they didn't flush him out enough for me. Really good character, though, in my opinion. Amazing character. Uh, Toby Rama. You're here because I like your character. And because you're the second Okage. That's about it. Uh, <laughs> no, 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 no. But for real, though, he's actually... Really cool, in my opinion. I just think he deserves to be a B tier for the skill level and high skill set that he possesses. Third Okage, Haruzen. You're here because you fought Orochimaru, and I'm not going to take anything away from it. Orochimaru is also here for the same reason. That fight was incredibly amazing because, in my opinion, we didn't get enough from you. And that's the simple reason why you're here. That's actually one of my favorite fights in all of Naruto, seeing them fight and just seeing the reproduction. One of the coldest moments. I heard Tamari's here because she... Is also another character who I feel like is just really just not C tier. Uh, she's not C tier. And she's not D tier. Because I like her stuff with Shikamaru. I like her as a natural ninja. Like, she's actually a really good ninja in general. She did more than most of the girls did in the show next to Sakura. And I just feel like, well, or he not. Well, really, he not didn't do a lot until she, you know, like, we talking about the last. But, you know, just really good character. Just kind of not fleshed out enough, but still not enough to go in C or D. So... Tamari's there for that reasoning. A tier. My boy, Kunahamaru. Now, don't take the pictures as where they are. like, Because I'm talking about them through the entirety of the show. Kunahamaru didn't drop the ball in Baruto from what I've seen. Didn't drop the ball in Naruto. And he definitely didn't drop the ball in the original either. A tier character. That's why I like to see it. That's an A tier character. Now, remember, these are, these are still the tiers. Now, keep in mind, Ninja tier means the very best, but still, A tier is still extremely high on my list of characters that I really like. Konohamaru, you made it, boy. You're definitely up there. A S Ninja tier is a favorite character almost in the show, for the most part. Killer B, another amazing character. Taught Naruto how to control the beast better. Taught him how to get it under control. His fight with Sasuke was incredibly amazing. It was probably one of the, uh, also another one of my favorite fights in Naruto. And I just like how Killer B is always like, let me write a new rhyme and all this other stuff. It's just really cool character. Sakura, A tier, you made it. Now, let me explain what I was just talking about a minute ago. When I was literally just talking about Sakura. But, of course, you know, I already kind of explained how I feel about her through Minato. So, let me, don't even worry. So, let me actually just get right to Sakura. Sakura is an A tier because once again I didn't find Sakura annoying. Sakura is probably my favorite girl in this whole show, if I'm being completely honest with you. And I don't really care what a lot of people say have to say about this. It's just how I feel about Sakura. Like I don't think she's a bad character. I don't think she ever had a bad moment, to be completely honest with you. I mean, to be completely honest with you, I mean she definitely did some stupid stuff. But the stupid stuff is her writing. So I'm not gonna I'm not gonna like, I don't dislike soccer. Like, I, I never will. Like, it's just like people can say this and that. Like, I know she has hate towards her, and I can definitely see why people feel that way, but I just never really paid attention to her. She really wasn't that annoying, in my opinion. She was just like a role support. She was a support role. If you look at soccer from a support role, instead of the role of her being on, like, Team 7, like this great team that has Sasuke and Naruto, 
and by no means I'm saying like something like sexual. It's like I'm saying like Sakura automatically should be behind him or anything because she's a girl or anything. I'm saying they establish her as a support role. So you're not supposed to go off and think she's supposed to be doing something so incredible. The establishment of a support role, Sakura still did way better than all the other ninja in her entire grade as far as girls are concerned. So yeah. Moving on past Sakura, we enter the S and the Ninja tier level. Gara, S tier character, had an amazing story with Naruto. Couldn't be any better. Kakashi, S tier. Stuff with Abito, incredible. Can't even lie. Just amazing character the entire show. We got to see stuff with him and Abito, how he gave him a Sharingan. Phenomenal stuff. Abito, same way, backwards and forth. I feel the exact same way. Ren dying. Incredible stuff. Cannot stress it enough. One of my favorite characters in all of anime right there. Neji, respect to you for your dying. Uh, one of the reasons why I like him 100%. Neji, just in general, was a good character. Like, I don't understand why he had to die. Spoiler alert. I'm not putting that in the title, so I'm sorry if I just surprised you or anything. If you're just watching this for the you know, Naruto love or whatever, but I, sorry, I, I just spoiled somebody by saying that, but that just wasn't a necessary death, and it just doesn't feel like it was needed, in my opinion. First Kage Hashirama. What can I say? You are phenomenal. You, you're just amazing, bro. Like, you, you didn't just betray Madara from the get-go. You came back, resurrected, all this other stuff. I don't feel like you were flushed, but I just really like Hashirama just for the simple sense that he kind of is like really just this cool guy who's really strong. And Madara just kind of represents, you know, the opposite. Like he's literally not, I mean, we already know the comparisons and whatnot, but top tier character, top tier characters, Madara, your whole show. You were the bad guy, the whole big run. Kaguya kind of finessed your story. I don't know why she did that, but you're still S-tier to me. Jake Maru, S-tier. I'm not going to explain this. One of the smartest characters in the whole show. There's no point in explaining. Pain, also no reason to explain. Or Nagito, no reason to explain that. You know why. Pain, incredible, understandable, understood a villain. Amazing, first time ever. Ivito just explained. <sighs> Boys and girl. Ninja tier. I said my boy Naruto is a ninja tier character. Actually, no, I'm starting from back to the beginning. Forget that. Jiraiya. Respect to you, my boy. Forever. This man taught Naruto the Rasengan. He taught Naruto. He never turned his back on him. Always had his best interest in mind. Went to the village, fought pain, died. Went down as a true ninja. Left the building block for Naruto to become an even greater ninja by allowing him to learn sage mode. What kind of teacher is like this? Amazing teacher. Atachi Uchiha. One of the greatest story arcs of all time. He didn't kill his brother but killed everybody in the village because it was his duty to protect the hidden leaf village and chose that over everything else. Okay. Over everything else. Phenomenal, phenomenal written character. Sorry about that, because I had to, you know, people in the house, bro. It's just how it is. But phenomenal character, written well, amazing story with Sasuke. You never turned your back on him. You said you always loved him. Respect. Hinata, Naruto's girl. Phenomenal character, in my opinion. Ninja tier, without a doubt. Always took her ninja away. Fought Neji back, even though it was tough for her to handle. Never gave up. Ran into a fight with pain to protect Naruto. That's ninja tier level. I don't care. Not to mention the fact that this girl is still fighting hard for this dude. Ninja War. Never, never not cared about him. Always was on his side. Never turned her back on him. Followed by his code. Never turning his back. Amazing. Rock Lee, I'm not I'm not gonna get into this. If you're an Arto fan, you know why Rock Lee's ninja tier. I'm not I'm not expl I'm not explaining that. Nor I really shouldn't even have to explain Sasuke or Naruto, to be completely honest with you. If you don't know why Naruto or Sasuke is in Ninja Tier, then I kind of don't understand why you're not. As a matter of fact, Ninja Tier, I shouldn't really even have to explain. 
maybe S tier, but ninja tier. I shouldn't even have to explain why these people are ninja tier, unless you just don't know, cause uh, you haven't seen Naruto. But Rock Lee is ninja tier because this man is. You know what? I'm not explaining that. You can watch for yourself. I'm not spoiling anymore in case you're due to this, but because no, Rock Lee is probably one of the most fan favorite characters in Naruto, but he got told in season of the next show, and it's just so annoying. Okay, Sasuke. I shouldn't have to explain this. Actually, there are a lot of people that probably will say Sasuke should be like A, A, or S because they don't like him, but to me, Naruto, Sasuke is an amazing character. He undergo probably the biggest changes from part one to part two, and then somehow still found his way back. And I find that amazing that that was able to happen. Naruto. I'm not explaining Naruto because if I do, we're going to be on here for another good hour if I get into Naruto. That's how much I have to say about him. I really had more to say about Sasuke than that, which would have been another 40 minutes. But I don't want to keep this too long. But I will just say this. Naruto. Always believed in his dream. Accomplished it. Did it. That's about as good as I got to say on that one. Way more detail about that. Sasuke, same thing. Um, except he didn't have a goal. I mean, he kind of achieved his goal early on, but to be, as far as Shippuden is concerned, Naruto kind of not really, kind of like middle, if I had to say, if you're watching the part one right now, it's kind of somewhere in the middle, kind of, kind of ish early. Anyway, guys, that was my Naruto tier list. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope you guys also agree with my picks. And if you don't agree with my picks, please be free to tell me some things that I did wrong or maybe the characters that shouldn't be in certain spots. I'm going to listen to you. That doesn't mean I'll agree with you because we're all entitled to our own opinions. But in my opinion, I'm willing to listen to you. If I actually hear your ideas and I'm like, okay, maybe I can see what you're talking about. Please be sure to tell me in the comment section. Thanks for checking out this video, guys. And I will catch you guys on the next video. Enum Gaming signing out. Deuces.